All right, guys, so welcome to your 57th video. And in this video, we have two more methods to complete show message and able to type. Basically, I already did this before, and nothing is really that much different. What show message is going to do is basically update the GUI so your message gets displayed in the chat window. And able to type is just going to give the user permission so they can start typing things into their little text box. So um, this first one is change or update chat window, which is the main area where you view all the messages. And I might as well code this one first. Private void show messages. Um, I'll just put messages as M. Okay, that'll be good enough, I guess. I'm tired of writing messages. Too lazy for that crap. I got stuff to do. Okay, so swing utilities invoke later and the reason that I'm not explaining everything is because I already did it and I don't really want to waste your time I'll just show you guys how to do it so invoke later okay so new runnable creates a thread and whenever that gets called it gets public void run which pretty much means uh, you know the main method for the thread and all we're doing is chat window okay if I can freaking type it a pen which pretty much stick on the end of the string and this big this is basically one long string that appears in your chat window is the message that we want to display which got passed in as M so basically whenever we have a message that we want to appear on the screen we don't want only this message to appear we want it to appear at the end of the conversation now the conversation itself is one long string that gets thrown inside the chat window so we're saying okay stick this on the end of that string and make it appear simple enough so now that that is taken care of we'll go outside and now we have to do able to type and this uh, gives user permission to type crap into the text box okay good enough now after this private void able to type final boolean trf which means true or false and now if I can just copy all this I wonder if I copy it right there it'll be good oh yeah there we go look at oh man it still isn't properly formatted I have to go on fucking did I accidentally just cuss no I said freaking guys come down and pretty much uh, create the same thing we did last time so new runnable run append except this line of code changes to use your text set editable equal to trf so basically what this line of code is going to be responsible for is giving the user permission and making that text box editable or not editable if it is editable and if this is true then they can type things in and pretty much send them to the server if it's not editable then obviously they can't type anything in obviously can't send it to the server so now if I scroll up I should see that well sh show message is getting an error because that says show messages which is not but hopefully I should get no errors awesome that is a beautiful looking program when you see no red X's so congratulations guys you now did it we only have the one other client test class to code and once we're done coding that then we can begin testing this baby out it's going to be awesome cross my fingers I really hope that it works so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video